into more of how I style my hair. So I shampoo and condition my hair and I usually like to go over it with a wide tooth comb about every other day. I don't like to do it every day because it is damaging to kind of pull through your hair. I do this in the shower too, which I know is not really the best to brush your hair out in the shower, but for curly hair I think that works best because it has all the conditioner in it. And I like to do it when I use the leave-in conditioner too because I can do the leave-in conditioner and then when I brush it out it works really well because it doesn't like pull it too much. And I just start at the bottom and go up really lightly and I don't rip and pull at it or anything until I work my way all the way up. If you have really tight coils, I don't really recommend doing this just because you'll end up with an afro. Um, everyone knows with curly hair you don't want to um, brush it too much. and You never want to brush your hair dry. No, no. Just don't do it like that. So when I get out of the shower, I like to wrap my hair up in a t-shirt. And this is like changed my life. I love using this because if you look at a t-shirt, it's just cotton you know there's no like known fibers or anything like that but if you look at a towel I have a makeup washcloth here to show you there's like all these little fibers in it with a really fluffy towel too you'll have even like bigger fibers so that's just gonna grab onto your hair and it's gonna pull and you'll end up with a lot more frizzy so you want to avoid that you don't want your hair to be too frizzy you want it to just be calm and you want it to be up in a loose you know bun that way it can curl back up but it's not going to be pulled tight and a towel is heavy too when you have it up on your head so that is pulling your hair like this so it, the curl is stretched here so it's not going to have time to form so when your hair is wet when you get out of the shower it's like crucial for curly hair because that is really the time where the curls curl back up after they've been like pulled out from shampooing and conditioning and stuff so I'm going to show you how you can wrap your hair up in a t-shirt without having to use a big heavy towel on your head and you can let your hair dry. I like to do it while I'm doing my makeup and stuff. So these are just like basic cotton t-shirts. You can get them anywhere in a pack. I think this is a small for like small boys or something. I don't know, but this is what I like to do. So I take the t-shirt like this. So I take the bottom of it. I flip my hair over like that. And I take this t-shirt and the opening in it like that. I put it over my hair. And then I go like this and I shake my hair down into it. So my hair is down in the shirt now and it's wet so it's a lot smaller than what it is now. And then I take it like this and I wrap it up and I squeeze out the excess really gently and then I put it up on top of my head like that. So that's how I wrap my hair up in a t-shirt instead of using a towel. Now my hair is all over the place. NaturallyCurly.com has a great section on different hair types. They even go into detail of talking about the different width of your hair and the length of the strands and the density and all that stuff. Since everyone's curly hair is totally different, I wanted to quickly go over the different types of curly hair because that really has a lot to do with the products you choose for styling. The first one is called 2A Wavy Savvy Hair. This one is typically more wavy. It's not exactly curly. It's very thin and it's easy to straighten. The next one is 2B, which is called Wavy Curvy. And this hair type actually is more of an S shape, but it's not ringlets. The next one is 2C. This is typically coarser, but it's still not really ring. It's kind of a mixture of waves and curls. So if you have a 2A, 2B, or 2C, these type of curls typically don't need a lot of products. You can just use a finishing cream or a leave-in conditioner. The next one is called 3A Curly Twirly, and this one is actually more defined curls, like an S pattern. Mine is somewhat between 2C and 3A. It's kind of in between because I have some ringlets, but the rest is pretty much wavy. It just depends, but it is thick, so anyone can be a variation of either one. The next one is 3B Curly Spirally, and this one is much more spiral curls. 3C is called Curly Coily, and that one is very dense, tight curls. For a type 3 curly hair, which is more of what mine leans to, you can use any type of mousse, just something that's going to help it shrink back up and help define the ringlets more. You can use a gel cream, but I don't recommend using anything really sticky gel. Unless your hair is really coarse and very curly, you can get away with using a gel. And I also really like using butters and oils to help define the curls and serums and stuff. Then the last division is actually 4A, 4B, and 4C, and these are just really tight curls and very coarse and hard to straighten. For type 4, since the curls are very defined, you want to be using like really thick butters and hair milks, stuff that's very thick and hydrating to help add the moisture back but still define the curls. So while I'm doing my makeup, I like to leave my hair up in the t-shirt just to let it dry some. I find that that works best when I apply products because if I apply products when my hair is still pretty wet, it ends up looking really crunchy. 
So I first like to start off with the Garnier Leave-In Conditioner. This one does have the silicone in it, but it's not too much of it, and I don't have a problem with buildup when I use this. This helps to really keep my hair hydrated and keep it from getting frizzy and just keep it soft and manageable all day. Then I've been using the L'Oreal Everstyle Alcohol-Free Curl Activating Mousse, and I really love this mousse. You have to pump it when it's still standing upright or else it won't really work. But I love this because it helps to really define my curls. It doesn't leave them too country unless I apply too much or I apply it when my hair is wet. So you want your hair to dry a little bit more than it actually dried here. It actually ended up being a little bit too crunchy on this day. But you want to make sure you let it dry and don't apply too much and it shouldn't be too crunchy. And I just scrunch this all through my hair. And I even like to flip my hair upside down and get the underneath and just really scrunch it to help define the curls. But you don't want to pull on it too much because then you can just end up pulling the curls apart and it will just end up being poofy. So, Then sometimes I like to blow dry my hair but I find that it looks the best when I just let it air dry. But if I want to run out the door and I want it to look good I use a diffuser on that and I keep it on the low warm setting so it's not too hot and it's also not blowing too much. Because if you have too much air blowing it's going to create frizz and just make it blow all over the place. So when drying curly hair you want to keep it as still as possible. Don't touch it too much just let it dry with the air sitting on that's where the diffuser really helps because it distributes the air and diffuses it so it's not just one strong burst of air blowing your hair all over the place and making it get frizzy so to add volume to my hair I like to flip my head over and then blow dry it from underneath just easily pushing it up you just want to cup your hair and put it inside the diffuser and shrink it up just so the curls will bounce back up and dry that way you can also place the blow dryer around your ear and then push it up to your crown just to help give your roots some lift. Then I like to put my blow dryer on the cool setting and just finish it off like that. This helps reduce the frizz and add more shine. Then I like to finish it off with some type of serum. This is the Carol's Daughter Hair Balm and I really like this. It's like a buttery balm but you only need a little tiny bit. I like to apply this around my face and to the ends just to smooth out wherever it looks frizzy. So I wanted to also talk about some hair products that I don't use in my hair care routine but I do really like for curly hair and I do kind of switch in and out with my everyday products. This is the Marc Anthony Strictly Curls Curl Envy Curl Perfect Cream. I do really like this stuff but it does have a lot of the um, silicone in it. That's one of the top ingredients is a lot of different silicones. It is really nice if you have very curly hair because you can put some of this cream on your hands and pull it through your curls and it just has really nice soft touchable hold. This is all I need to use when I use this stuff. I don't have to use a lot of other styling products. It keeps the frizz down and it's just a really soft um, hold. But I don't think it does that much with actually shrinking my curls up because it's not water based. It does have water in it but I don't find that it does a very good job at making my curls shrink back up. It's more of like a gel cream consistency. So I do really like that. You could try that out if you are interested. And then the other products I really like is the Herbal Essences Talsamy Softly Mousse. And this is, I haven't been able to find this recently. I think you can get it at Walmart though. This is a very soft hold mousse. If you have wavy hair, this is an excellent um, choice for you. And it doesn't leave your hair feeling crunchy in any way and it's very moisturizing. But the problem is it has alcohol in it, which a lot of mousses do have alcohol because that's what makes it like foam up. But um, the alcohol can also be pretty drying for your hair. I don't notice a lot of dryness with this. Um, it is pretty moisturizing, but I just wanted to go for a more... Um, less harsh chemicals and stuff like that. So the mousse that I've been using is the L'Oreal Everstyle Alcohol Free Curl Activating Mousse. And I find that this makes my hair shrink up a lot more. This is more of just a soft hold, but for my curl type, I don't really like um, the amount of, like, it doesn't, curl, it doesn't construct my curls in any way. It just gives me a nice soft hold. So I think this is great for more of a wavy haired person because it does say tassel me softly, so it's more for like a tassel look. But I want the ringlets and stuff, so I've been loving this stuff a lot. And this doesn't have any alcohol in it, and you have to check the ingredients because you never know with this L'Oreal stuff. But one of the ingredients does say sodium, so I'm not so sure about that. But um, it's been working pretty good, and it really gives my hair a lot of curl. I've been using it the past couple days, and I have a lot more curl in my hair and body with this. So I love that, but you have to be careful with it because your hair can get pretty sticky if you use too, not sticky, but crunchy if you use too much. I have noticed my hair is a lot shinier too without the sulfates because all the harsh ingredients and stuff can really dull down your hair color and I find that that was, and I found that that was really happening with mine. It just looked dull, the color didn't look right and I want to keep my natural hair colored that way I don't have to damage it with like box dyes and stuff like that. So 
I think that just keeping your hair shining and stuff with the natural color really just makes it shine and look good. And my hair color is like a medium brown. It's not really light brown. It's not really dark. I did dye it dark and I have gotten highlights before. So I haven't done a lot of dyeing, but I did do the box dye stuff. I have a review on a box dye, but I think it thin my hair some. I swear my hair was falling out when I was rinsing it out and it just has scared me since then. So I'm trying to stay away from those box dyes. If you do want to color your hair, go to the salon and get it done. It's a lot less damaging when you do that. But my hair is really shiny. I've noticed a huge difference with this Kinky Curly shampoo as far as the luster of it and um, the elasticity of it. It doesn't break hardly at all anymore. And I just, I love the way my hair feels now. So for the cut and stuff on my hair, I have my mom cut. I never go to the salon because she used to cut hair and she does a good job on it. So I like to get long layers put in my hair. And then I also have some bangs like just to my chin, just to frame my face a little bit. And that way if I do want to straighten it or style it or anything, I can have a little bit of bangs. But it's just a little bit. It's The bangs come to here and then it's angled down this way. So if you were to look at it sideways like this, it kind of tapers down like that. And then if you were to look at it in the back, it's cut more like a V or like an oval V shape. So it kind of comes down. So you've got the point at the end that's longer. And I just like that look. And you definitely just want to make sure you have longer layers and not all one length of hair because it's just going to not lay right with curly. You want to have body so it can shrink up. But then again, you don't want it to be just flat on the top and a poof at the bottom. That's what you don't want. So you want to make sure you have enough and it's not too weighed down or else it's just going to pull and you're not going to have a lot of volume. So that is it for my hair care routine and my whole sulfate free system. If you guys enjoyed this, please let me know and I will do more hair care videos. If I forgot to mention anything, which I'm sure I will, it will be listed on my blog. I'll have more information on there about all this stuff. I will also link all the helpful websites and beauty gurus here that know a lot about this stuff because I'm just kind of getting started with the whole natural hair care thing. So I'm not a total expert, but I do. Um, I have tried a lot of products and gotten some experience in it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I would love to see your hair care routine so please leave it in the video responses below especially if you have curly hair because there's nothing better than just communicating with other people with curly hair and finding out what products work the best because it is just our hair is just a mystery and I'm sure you know that if you're watching. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye everyone.